Welcome back to the spider's web and in this video we're going to be painting Ned and his zombiver. There's not much difference between the two figures <laughs> apart from the, uh, the diff on this one the clothes look a little more ragged and he's, he's lost his frying pan and he's uh, got a sawn off shotgun instead of a shotgun but apart from that there's not much difference between the two facially sp facially speaking of course they look quite similar but that's that um, now <clears throat> as per usual when we're doing these we start off with the flesh tones and for these fella for, for these fella for this fella I'm going to be using <clears throat> Um, Ungar flesh <coughs> so I'll just pop a little bit of the Ungar flesh onto our palette and for the Zombiver I will be needing a little bit <coughs> of the Nurgling Green <coughs> and that will be mixed in with the flesh colour to give the Zombiver like flesh so, okay so let's start off shall we so we're going to be doing the flesh first <clears throat> Just adjust my In fact, I think what I'm going to do is use a brush with a finer tip. That's better. And we're just applying very dilute wash of the paint onto the skin areas. So that's the zombie, oh, that's the survivor's flesh done. Let's just do now the zombiver. And so for this, we're adding a little bit of the Nurgle, not on Nurgling Green, to it. And we're doing exactly the same thing. So that's the um, flush tones sort of started. 
<coughs> next what I want to do is the trousers and for this I'm going to be using Death World Forest I do quite like this one um, You know, sometimes it seems to look green, other times it looks um, like a brownish colour. In this instance it's looking incredibly green. But Trousers. I'm now going to see what other items of clothing there are to do before we make a start on the boots. Okay, well, he has a shirt, he has a t shirt, and he has a jacket. The reason I went to the trousers was just to give the skin tone plenty of time to dry. Um, I'm going to go back to the skin tone for the Zombiver um, just for a second um, <coughs> okay <coughs> that's that so now we'll carry on and we'll go with white and this is for his t-shirt um, now, strangely enough, yes, I know I have painted flesh where his shirt's popped a button on the Zombiver. That's perfectly fine. There we go, that's all we're doing for the and for here it's that and that <coughs> while we're waiting for that to dry um, let's do the stock of his gun and for that we're going to be using dryer bark. Mm. And this is the Zombiver part. Someone who isn't a expert in guns, I'm assuming that this part will be the wooden bit going from the picture. So I'm not assuming anything. the wooden area as well as the, the 
the handly bit at the back here. I do not, I don't know what the uh, the different parts of the guns are so I might make up words as I go along for what what they actually are <coughs> so that's that for that um, I don't think there's a zombiver would have anything wooden possibly the handle on his on off shotgun. If I'm wrong on that, I couldn't tell less to be brutally honest. I'm just going to get done this colour anyway, whether it's right or wrong. I'm not an aficionado of guns. and next thing what we're going to be using is <coughs> I did say he had a like a checked red shirt on and he's going to have just a straight plain red Wazdaka red shirt on So I'll get some of the Wazdaka Red onto the palette. And that's our Zombiva, we don't want that one, we want the... The Survivor miniature first. this bit there's a lot more of the red to do There's going to be a little bit of what you call it artistic license on this. It's not going to have any of the checker design on it, mainly because I'm not very good with freehand stuff. So it's just going to be a plain red shirt. It's going to be dark red shirt. Um, so it's going to be washed with um, the um, Fingy Crimson, Caribou Crimson and then highlighted a little bit with Wasdaka Red again there we are. Now let's just pop a little, in fact, oh God, in fact 
I may not what should I may just leave it as it is because it looks as though it's dark enough to be honest <coughs> next <coughs> I'm going to do his hair and for his hair I'm going to mix a little bit of the Wasdaka red in with the green the Nurgling green and a little bit of the dryad bark as well as I'd hope this one. And I've added a little bit of um, Abaddon Black to it as well. Because it wasn't should we go it wasn't going as well as I'd hoped it was it would. And then I'm just jacket done and for this we're going to be using <coughs> steel legion grab I'll use this one for a while I think it's about time it got oh there's not much left of it have I got any more I wonder I don't think I have I may not be using this one after all um, What's that back there? Ah. I have another pot, haha. -ha. Built in. So we're going to be using Steel Legion Drab, as I say. So that's all of this to our palette. And this is going to be for our jacket so edges of Oops. and that is that <coughs> now it's time 
for a wash. In fact, no, it's not. I said I was going to pop a little bit of red on the Zombiver character here. I think we'll leave it at that. Okay, so I just want to go over a little bit more in some parts with the hair. Just to make sure I've got everywhere. Um, I will be going back to this later with a little bit of grey um, giving that like salt and pepper look to his hair and yes for some strange reason his glasses are over his hair but I've painted it in anyway because it's going to be black Not going to make any difference. Um, to the actual colour that you're going to see. Um, there we are. That's it. <coughs> and <coughs> <coughs> now it's time for washes. So, for the washes, I'm choosing. Um, in fact, not, I've just realised it isn't quite time for the wash because there's one other part that I really need to get done first of all, and that is. His footwear. It shows him wearing trainers. Um, I'm just going to do them in brown shoes. Once I can find the colour paints that I really want, which is the Rhinox Hide. And Piers. I'm going to say that it appears to have to run off, but it's now it's here. It was one of the ones I hadn't put away when I, from painting the fatty. Okay, so a little bit of the rain oxide on the palette. Lots of water. And this is all we're going to do, it's just a quick brush over can always come we always come back and um, pick out details after the wash
around finally just this little bit here and then <coughs> we can go ahead with the wash now the wash for these is going to be for the skin um, when I can find it I'm picking everything up but the one I want and I think it's going to be one of those silly ones it is with the white lid you can't really see what colour it is it's Reitland Flesh Shade and I'll do that for both because even though yes one is a zombie I don't want him looking incredibly green so right on flesh shed will go over all the skin areas I'm going to be going over some of the details as well with this because it's pale enough that the black paint later will go over it without causing any issue. the zombie same again I say this flesh shade is going to be slightly different because of the green in its butt it will be fine and dandy for the look we want is basically it for the flesh areas or it would be if this would cover <laughs> I forgot about his leg here Next we have the <coughs> shirt which is going to be Carolberg Crimson. enough for that a little bit more for this fella and the rest of it is going to be done in a black earth shade even the trousers because we want it looking of a browny cast rather than a, a green over the hair as well up 
opinion on how that looks when it's finished. I may or may not do the salt and pepper look because look at it, looking at it, it doesn't look too bad so far. I'm not really fussed about the little bit of leg showing at the bottom, bit of ankle rather. Um, it's just going to be slightly darkened by shadow so I'll just go over it with the Agrax Earth shade so that will create the illusion there and then that is it until the washer's dried as usual. Um, nothing more I can do. So once this is finished, um, I'm going to bring this video down to a close, and then in the next one we can start as always with the highlighting. This may be split into two yet, I'm not sure how long I've been at this. I don't know with the other ones I've done of this particular type, um, they have been split into two. But we'll see when it comes down to editing as to how much. I've not done the shoes on this Zondiver. I'll come back and do that in a second. And typical of me, I always miss something. And that is basically the wash is done. All I need to do now is just the the shoes here. And then when we come back it will be highlighting, picking out details and what's the word I'm looking for? Basically finishing the model for painting. Choose and giving you the option to choose the next one. So there's Ned base coated and washed. <clears throat> there we are. I hope you enjoyed the video. Or videos. So until next time, as always, take care, God bless, and bye for now. <laughs>